The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wood will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting... Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. I remember spending entire summers on the banks, fishing with Nick. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. and it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal.
some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here, not even me. I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit-chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others. Even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Come on, Anna. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee. A ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam. Put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before.
We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. Lost the signal. Something never changed. Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left.
Look, Joan, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. You said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't mean to lie. I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm... I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something, especially after, you know, after my dad. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again? It's your call. Okay. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to sooner or later. Whoever said you can judge someone by their car never met Tara. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, Mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back.
Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe, has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. That smile she had when I gave it to her. She could barely get on it back then. One of Nick's favorite matchups. Might be the first game he'll miss. I haven't read an issue of this paper since I left. I wonder how they've been doing without me. Must have been a hard issue to write. I'm not ready for this. Here we go. Mr. Samuel Higgs, Big Shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires, but that means you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Because if you aren't, well, Nick's memory only goes so far. That's what I thought. Come on, it ain't worth it. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. 
And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Got the mind closed. I can't believe he showed up. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. You always did know how to start a ruckus. I guess I missed that. Hey, Sam, why don't you drink the nick on the other side? Old timers in general already don't like me. And the article just made it worse. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick? His car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? Of the writing? Fine. Fine. Of the reporting? <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Gonna be a stranger, Sam. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce, but anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. It's been too long, Kathy. Has it? Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um... Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You'll probably save some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of Language. Is that a wedding ring? I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just... it feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. 
you say so. Hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything, anything but my arcade secrets, those I'll take to the grave. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rest up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. I wonder who took that picture. Happier times. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. Bug was so small back then. Those two were a great team. Look at us. He was more her best friend than a dad. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. That wasn't the reason I left town. Oh, you think it was that girl of yours? <laughs> You left because the town hated your guts. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Yeah, like you'd care. Uh, not too much. But shoot yourself if you want to be like that. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which...
You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. Could you give us a moment, Sam? There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce. But anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Bess always had a soft spot for Nick. I think she liked his work ethic. But no more than 3,000 milligrams a day. I thought it was 4,000. Pretty courageous of him to try his luck in Basswood, given the state of things. That amount is damaging. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Anna? Sam! Sorry. Old habits. Why'd it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? It's not your fault. There's a lot of people that don't want me here, including myself. People around here have short tempers. And long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It doesn't make it easier, though. It's gotta make it a little easier. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together. It started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. But you and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He, he never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. Uh, that's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this... This was all nice. The funeral, the wake... Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel... Heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. It's hard for me to really just wrap my head around it. Nick being gone. Smart. Don't rock the boat when the person in the boat just lost a loved one. It's big. I can't get my head around it either. His stuff is all over my house, but he's just missing. Things without an owner. Most of it I'll probably give to Joan and Kathy, throw away, I don't even know. Sam, I'm tired, and if I'm gonna drink and cry, I wanna do it alone. I played that stupid, stupid song like I told myself I would. He said, or he used to say, it made him ache. I did it, and I'm going home. We need to catch up, though. 
Let's meet for coffee tomorrow and talk. Really talk. 9.30? Yeah. Maybe. I'll be at the cafe across from the paper. Christina's. It was honestly nice seeing you. Samuel, come. Have a round with me. I need a drink or two. Or three. And then I'll go. You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. Uh, not really. You just quoted him a couple of times and I thought it sounded... He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Then you should read Great Expectations. It's a masterpiece, plain and simple. Walter can be overwhelming at times, but he means well. It does look tempting. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Well, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. No, well, by himself, with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. He was always good with Joan, though Kathy did the heavy lifting. Took her to school, fed her, clothed her, and Nick would pick her up. Play dad for a few hours, mostly she'd just sit in the office drawing. And he'd drop her back off with her mom after dinner. Greater men have done far less by their daughters. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age, and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed, Few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns, that from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Well, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. child doing drinking. You have no control over her? Ethan can lose his license. I wasn't doing anything. Don't touch me. Joan. Leave me alone. Uh, you guys are all so, so stupid. You do not talk to people that way. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so, so... That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. I'll send her a text. Make sure she's gonna be okay.
right. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if the years didn't smooth their animosity as much as I hoped. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Stop. Stop pushing me. Stop always poking at me. You just won't quit. I'm trying to help. And helpful tip number 602. Beer doesn't solve any of this. You're back out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in. That's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. did I take? God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. At least it won't take me long to get my things. I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more.
Sam, be more careful. Breathe. Focus. Find the way to calm down. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Sam, Samuel, focus. Focus on anything other than the fear. Doing good, really good. You're almost there. Focus, choose, act deliberately. Get far away. Don't think. Just go. Hide. Never happened. Going on. If I run, I won't keep running. We need to face what happened. We need answers. No, that's just pretending nothing is wrong. I've done that enough. Hide. It's never happened. Going on. If I run, I won't keep running. Hide. It's never happened. Get far away. Don't run. Just go. If I run, I won't keep running. Can you face what happened? Get far away. Don't run. Just go. Alright. Get far away. Get far away. Just hide. It's 
never happened. If I run, I'll keep running. You're far away. Don't think. Just... Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I'm gonna take it slow and be cautious, don't worry. Yeah, telling people not to worry always works. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. I remember seeing this before, a long time ago. Ethan and his parents, and I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. Whoa. What happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them?
might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Ripped. Did this happen yesterday, or was it always like that? What knocked this clock off the pillar? Chasing and being chased by ghosts. Ugh. Did I do this? Sorry, Nick. It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on.
might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with... I was drinking on my own, and someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few? That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night.
I have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? <laughs> about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the... Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is, if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. Perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Yo, get out the way. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Oh, 
Sam, you here to pick up something for your uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. I'm trying to find something for it, and if it doesn't help, it can't hurt. I'm glad someone took over this whole drugstore. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. <laughs> I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes, <laughs> always. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, I got to hear all about it secondhand. Really not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys, but you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover, but I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. Last night was a wake-up call. I'm gonna try focusing on clean living. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask, why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood. Not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something for me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? Dennis hasn't come in today, has he? Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? You looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. 
that I left early to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little Sam Higgs, sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter, and I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago, and Kathy still keeps it with her. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understand, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Nah, sorry about that. Uh, went off for a spell. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me.
she pulls the look off a lot better than I could. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I suppose. I grew up here. Been gone for a couple of years. I'm not staying long. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. I don't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief. Somehow, I don't think the town's recent history will be included. It's fine with me. used to be twice as big. Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old place? Things like a ghost town sometimes, except ghosts have bothered leaving. I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Buck? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic Tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am to be an entomologist. I'm gonna study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this, no matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. 
Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and... Well, far from me to criticize or anything, but... Have you seen Dennis since yesterday? Have you not learned to not interrupt people when they're talking, Sam? I don't have time for small talk today. <laughs> as rude as ever. I haven't seen Dennis. You have a nice day. Christina is Basswood's resident godmother. She loves her small talk. The cost. Right, so the overhead would You seem real engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hon. Just balancing the books. Or trying to. Do you still have Basswood's best coffee? Ah, oh, honey, you know we've never had that. That's over at the police station. Bess takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. She pays out of pocket for real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity, which makes tidying up my books in time extra important, even if it kills me. I didn't think I'd see the day where you'd consider a franchise contract. Ha! Only the day God calls for me. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh dear, I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made-for-TV movies. How you doing? You managed to keep the books balanced? About as well-balanced as a snake with four balls. <laughs> that... sounds uncomfortable, at the very least. <laughs> something my grandfather used to say. Still don't know what it means, but it works in almost any situation. It's just been a bit slow the last few years. All over town, really. That's just a rough patch. People will adapt. They just need time. It's not always easy to look on the bright side when you're trying to make it through. But you know us. We always make it through. For example, I thought we'd never have another miner's day. But here we are. I feel strange being back here. I don't think I've been in your cafe in a while. Almost two and a half years. Anna kept coming in, but you stopped. You noticed that? I could tell you two dears weren't gonna make it. it broke my heart. Well, sounds like you knew before I did. Gotta have one eye on the customer and one eye on the books. Not that I really wanna keep an eye on the books, mind you. Hmm, I say, hun, would you mind if I finish this? Oh yeah, of course. Good luck with your book balancing. Mm hmm Not very inspired. That's a good one. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. 
I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh, right. You're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Good to see someone finally knows how to take care of a plant. It's basic, yet so many people manage to mess it up. <laughs> Cowboy must have lost his keys. <laughs> Glad to see Joan hasn't changed too much. Christina, always bringing positivity. I need to? <laughs> Different priorities, I guess. Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. Um, any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? I haven't found anything yet, I don't think. Let me know if you find anything, please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe, I can't think, I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science. And just, 
When I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place or these people. I'm somewhere else, anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just, It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well, that other stuff sounds okay, though. Thanks for listening. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Seems she got older by six years and just two. Sorry, Sam, I'm still on duty. I wouldn't want anyone making up. Never forget, huh? Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answering. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well, everything has to look its best for today. Especially the minor. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. That matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So? How many West Virginians? I don't know. How many? Three. One to replace the light bulb. Two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> that might be a little too close to home. My favorite jokes have always been the ones that make me feel a little sad. So, you still want to hear the story? I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. It didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations, being what they are, refused, and sent strike breakers. The mine wars. The miners came out in force, union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. Ten thousand strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas around their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least a hundred men died in that battle. Blood spill for what we have now. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing you're fond of that story, huh? A lot of respect for rednecks. Well, things were tough, but we were a united community back then. Anyway, I get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Losing his legs seemed like the end of him, but he bounced back. Man, he's a rock. Joe. Sam? You old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? 
Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. Heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations. Pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. I'll do my best. Say hi to Anna. Betting there'll be a few more cups before she leaves. <laughs> Some things never change. Sam! Glad you came. Of course. I said I would. I can still be glad about it. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point, it's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. Long night. Yeah. Sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? So, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on. Tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down. Or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I 
I just want to apologize to him for what happened yesterday. Well, he's probably working at the Basswood Jungle. He's there most weekends. Thank you. I'll check that out. We're not gonna have coffee? Okay, bye then. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Is that Sam Higgs? Trying to get back in the newspaper game? I thought you got the message last night. Of course it was hard to tell. Considering you let Declan do your talking for you. Look, fellas. You know, Basswood can be a dangerous place. Well, so maybe consider just getting before something bad happened to you. Trust me, I'll be out of here as soon as I can. Good. De Declan's right down the street. Watch yourself while you're in Basswood. Because we'll be watching you. been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who? Is that how I got blood on me? Did I?
do this, Sam. When you focus, you can think through any problem. You got this. Dessert. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Come on, Sam. Keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. Blood got all over the wall here. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here, small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. Angle, this was the shooter's position. Was it me? His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. And how did I get the blood on me? Blood trail leads off. Someone or something moved through it. Sam, stop it. Come back to reality. But I... I... You didn't do anything. Dennis was already dead when you arrived. Can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think. You're... You're right. I can see it. I have a complete picture now.
The blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. staring at me. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen. junk in here, but none of it is useful to me. <laughs> Walter always treated us like family.
There might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Just reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. She used to be the office administrator ages ago. photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. That was just after Anna came on. And we really were a small clan.
If I had the code, I could get in here. Valid question. Still not sure. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. It was a good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking. about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen? The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. That is bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. There be so little information regarding his last investigation. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone.
Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. It's possible Walter missed something. Could be worth checking his office. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. <laughs> his granddad rock a thing? If so, Walter and Anna are both into it. See what secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far. By the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, is listen he... to me.
Anna, I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Person? Sam, you were clearly hiding something when we talked at the cafe. Was it this? Anna, I didn't kill Dennis, I promise. Of course, I know that. It's the only reason I'm not running for my life, but... Why haven't you said anything? At least to me. I wish you trusted me. This... It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You already decided not to trust Anna about the shirt back at Christina's. If you don't listen to her now, what will she think of you? Okay, but not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. Sam, I'm not... I'm not sure this is a good idea, going on your own like that. I'd like you to come with me. Whatever I find, I don't want to face it alone. Okay. You didn't trust me with all this at the cafe, but I am trusting you. Let me call the police from a landline real quick before we go. Looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to. Sure, I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over focused to the point of non reactive thing? I remember, especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. The 
bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. These road signs are intact, not a scratch on them. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. Best to leave her alone. It's a lot to take in. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. Fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs.
An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything to... The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. Road signs were damaged, two of them torn and burnt. How could the signs have burned during the crash then?
only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself, as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I'm different. But am I different enough to not fall into old patterns? Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. The last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. He had to get a new one after the accident. Must have been very expensive. <sighs> Didn't think I'd see it again. Not looking forward to stepping back inside. 
It's... It's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. I'm gonna have to side with Anna on this one. Can't miss appointments. Just because I'm an old man in a wheelchair, you two think you can push me around. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong. But she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. Should she's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam. Don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. I need to get in there eventually, but maybe I should look around the property first. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. Anna and I spent our nights out here trying to find all the constellations. He used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house.
Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Anna? Um, Anna, are you, are you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. Making a drink for Don't Anna go would be a good way to show you're yet. here for her. Stay here in the moment with Anna. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. Anna always wanted to visit France, but life is just too strange for me there. No drinks in here. Finally, there. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though? Stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. <sighs> Who 
Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? What are you waiting for? Bring it to her already. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know? Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Anna always wanted to take me to concerts. They were just never my thing. I got this for Anna's birthday after she mentioned wanting to travel more. Feels like the only part of the house I recognize. Whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. Chocolate helps everyone feel better. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer? You're not alone. Here, have a drink, it'll help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah, I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. She needs support. 
Something solid. Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in, it was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house, it's... It's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone to truly share my life. To make compromises and all that. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. It must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I close people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... You can count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. That's good. That's really good. Let's see this to the end, and, well, we'll see what happens when we get there, right? Whatever happens, we're in this together. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. I remember taking this photo, God, seeing it like this, not what Anna needed. The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it.
As if her week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Why is it so dark in here? This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. I guess Anna must have left it on, but she had her laptop with her. Is this Nick's? Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? Whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird, loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? We need to figure out what Nick is hiding. Did he ever let anything slip? And I mean anything. Did he talk about what he was working on? Anything about him or his activities seem out of the ordinary lately? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't... Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns? I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if that's where he went to keep his secrets away from you... It'd be worth taking a look. Hello? Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Come on. I'm starting to get worried. Sorry! I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go! Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Joan rides this bike everywhere. Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. What's it doing here? I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt.
You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Oh, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a uh, bug, just hand them over and I'll bait it. No, I'd be an accomplice then. Uh, don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is there something wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. I'm here now, Bug. I have your back. I promised you I would look into your father's death, and I'm doing it. I'm here now, Bug listening. I was there in the parking lot, listening. Yeah, well, but you're just gonna leave again another two years? Forever? I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on, but he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. Oh, so I'm mistaken and you did question people? Or did you just say all those dumb things adults say that don't mean anything? They wouldn't have told me anything interesting or you were just like them. This place is full of gutless patronizing adults, and I'm sick of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow, or the day after, in 10 years?
Remember what we said this morning? You could be anything you want. You don't want to stay in this town? You don't have to. But leaving like this? Running away? That's not going to help anything. Thanks for listening. But I don't know if I can take this place anymore. Can't you try? What would your father say? You're just telling me what I want to hear. Or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth. For once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this town. And so I'm going. And you can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. Your father didn't die in that crash. Someone killed him and covered it up, made it look like an accident. Now, I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. I was right. You were right. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even my And mom. I need you to stay at home. I will. I'm gonna go home right now. Thank you, Sam. I don't know if that was a good idea. <sighs> Me neither. But hey, it worked. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town, Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. Bog never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? Joan always liked bugs. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. <sighs> Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him, grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you.
Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. Bug never was the social type, just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. <laughs> what a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? All right, I think I went through everything here. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. 
just have to figure out why. If D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. Man, bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. I just gotta figure out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. <sighs> Doesn't work. There must be something I'm missing. No, that wasn't it.
Only a few more hundred combinations to go. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. Well, I doubt I'm just gonna guess it. Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. <sighs> Doesn't work. There must be something I'm missing. Let's see what we have here. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Richard, a.k.a. Dickie, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him.
He lives at this place, the Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood Jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? You and I are gonna figure something out together. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful. And look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the law. That's enough! What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again, if that even makes any sense. It's the knowing they might get away with it. The lie they made up being seen as true that just burns a hole right through me. Yeah, you're right, I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. And now we're riding straight into the back roads with no backup. You're afraid to let things go. Maybe she'd be lucky if she never saw you again. Are you still with me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you're just gonna keep telling me off. Disregard my advice. Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. Right. Right.
sure you want to keep going? Not really, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Sam, if you need to take a moment... No, let's... let's do this. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Ow! Watch it! The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? You seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You'd have to be an idiot not to. I'm creating something out of nothing and then turning it into something else. That's as close to real magic as we can get. So, are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dickie. I don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud, goes off road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. He could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. Guess that explains how he ended up here. That's a man that wants to be left alone. What's up? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR, I'm... Wait. You're that fucking reporter! I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face! Just here to ask a couple of questions. Do I look like a fucking tour guide? You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice.
Tyler set himself up nicely. She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not going to help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? It'll do. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. The clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dicky lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me. By us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. So Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's gotta be in one of these places. Dickie's unlikely to be here. No quad parked out front, and no one seems to be home. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. 
He's here somewhere. No quad, and it's right next to another mobile home. It's not quad, isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Hey, I don't want any trouble, just sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey, man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me, but I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me, close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. Pre-Socratic philosophy. Dog-eared and well-read. I saw this picture in Ethan's bar, only intact. Guess I know who's been cut out. It's deep enough. I could squeeze in here. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. I need to account for that. These shavings would be perfect kindling. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Varnish. Cans empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff.
I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? Distraction to get to Dickie. 
Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work. But it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Anna breaks the hose, Lynette will look for a spare in the closet. Tyler will see me under there if he comes into the cabin. That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dickie. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. Oh, shit. 
Shit! Shit! What the hell? I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh, no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man, I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him for just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was going to put so much together. He was going to pin us to the wall. And now I'm as good as dead. You don't understand, man. I can't. Stop rambling. What did you take? His notes about his article about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon, and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh, man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on. Just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm begging you, man. Let me go. Let me go. Help! Anyone! Help me! Shut up! Hey, asswipe! Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up. Your ass ain't any better. You brought him here. You've had this coming. I can explain. Oh, you'll explain all right. So I'm gonna give you my rifle. We're leaving. God damn it, woman! It doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, he'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. No one else is gonna die. You can't promise that. It's unfair to think you can. You don't know what's gonna happen. I don't either. But we're the only ones who could possibly bring some closure to these murders. Just control yourself, okay? The fire worked, but people could have gotten hurt. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. Stop it. I'm not doing anything. Other than trying to save your life, you're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just... just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me alone. Sam, alone. stop it. Sam, Sam, Sam stop! Sam, there's a turret. Stop! Stop! Sam, stop! Stop! Stop the car! Sam, are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need... I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here.
We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here. I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! Uh. No! No! Losing control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? Ugh. Fine. What? I got a feeling I'm not gonna like this. Okay, do not freak out. You've been through this before. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. There's got to be a logic to this place. I just need to figure out what it is. Ugh. Doing this over and over. There's got to be a logic to this place. I just need to figure out what it is. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. Question is, where does it lead? I wish there'd been another way. Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. I'm losing control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. At least I'm not being chased this time. Right? what's in store for me now. And I'm back to square one. Maybe it's not about which door I go through so much as which door I choose. There's no running away from it. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. You know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. I don't need that right now. Just give me a break. I give up.
seriously. They both deserve to be happy. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? You and me, Sam, we can do this. What? Which one are you? Sam? 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 Sam, where are you? Sam? Follow me. You and me, Sam, we can do this. Don't leave me, Lee. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Explain yourself to her. Or try to. As best you can. She deserves that. Hey, Bug, I'm gonna come back, sooner rather than later. You'll see me again before you even know it. We'll go fishing. Yeah, sure. I'm not stupid, you know. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. It's not up to me. I'd stay with you if I could. I'm... Sorry. Forgive me, please. Why are you lying? I know you want to leave. What happened to you, Mealy? I hope you never come back. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault. 
I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just, I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? You're leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. Everyone in town is making my life miserable and no one trusts me. I gotta go. Uh, I see. Yeah, you do, do you? He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. Maybe tell him you'll call. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I, I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back, no matter where you go. I know you don't want to talk about it, but he's your son. I know the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. To focus. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus.
I know you don't want to talk about it, but he's your son. I said this conversation was over. He's not having a good time at school. He has trouble socializing. Uh, what does that even mean? He's having some trouble making friends, that's all. He's always talking to himself, to his imaginary friend. Imaginary? I had one at his age. If you had real friends, he talks to himself more than he talks to other people. We should consider what the one teacher mentioned. He doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on him. They're not remedial. The program's meant to help him with his social skills. He could be good for him. But my son is not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. I'm ready. Hey. 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 It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. Especially to Joan and Anna. You're finally back on the right path? I believe... Some of the credit is mine. I'm doing my best with what I have. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. You make it sound so easy. 
I'm not sure I'm ready to let it go. It'll take a lot of work, but we can get you there. No one can enjoy life when they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. What about the world? Everything has a price. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. sacrificed so much effort just to make myself miserable. I've had enough. You just have to care more about the people around you and less about everything else. I know. I'm ready. It's not gonna be easy, but you and I, we're gonna get there, together. Anna probably went off after what Dickie left up here. You can't let her be out there alone. I know, but it needed to be taken care of. I concur. Hurry, Sam. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. What are you thinking, Sam? You can't just leave Anna here alone. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Syringes, bottles. Basswood has been having a tough few years. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. I know. I had a bit of a panic attack. I'm really sorry I put us in danger, but that's over now. I'm in the here and now, 100%. All right. Glad to have you. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. We don't both need to do this. You can go home if you want. Maybe you should. You're sweet, if a bit overly macho. 
I know the risks. But we haven't done too bad so far, right? So good try. But you're not getting rid of me that easily. Oh, I know how stubborn you can be, but I had to ask. It's probably time we find those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? <laughs> it was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. I'll start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You were one of Basswood's best. People counted on you. Don't even try to give me that. I've given enough to those two-faced hypocrites. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me, Nick and Dennis. That part wasn't supposed to happen, but here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Anna's gonna try something. I think enough people are dead, Declan. Think about what you're doing. Is this what you want? You killed Nick. You killed Dennis. You're running the drug ring in Basswood. If only you could have left it at that. But you had to poke around again. Now I have two witnesses to deal with. Thanks to you. This is bad. Be careful. Every word will count from now on. You have to lower his guard long enough for you and Anna to gain the upper hand. It's gonna be hard. But remember, I'm with you. Every word of the way. Tell me exactly why I shouldn't kill both of you right here. Keep your cool. He's not gonna shoot if he thinks he has better options. Otherwise, he already would have. Because it's not what you want. The sooner you understand it, the better. I've changed my opinion of you, Sammy. You're not that clever. 
What he means is, two more dead bodies will draw unwanted attention. It'd be easier to let us go. We'll both stay quiet. <laughs> Maybe you should let Anna do the talking for you, Higgs. Look, I don't want to do this, but I promise, it ain't personal. Don't delude yourself. Nothing is more personal than this, and you won't do it. What makes you think that? Seen into my soul? He wants things to stay as they were, to cover up the whole story. If he thinks you'll get in his way, he won't hesitate to pull that trigger. Three people gunned down the same day is bound to attract attention. You're a cop, Declan. You know the next strangers in town will be the feds. I could make you disappear. Ditch your corpses somewhere. No one would know. Come on, Declan, we talked to people, followed leads. And if we just go missing, Walter, Bess, people who know us will ask questions. You seem to think you could just walk away. Go ahead, tell me how that happens. For all his bad boy act, it's clear he wants insurances. To know he's safe. Deep down, he thinks everyone is as crooked as he is. Buy us then, your drug money for our silence. Samuel Higgs, ask him for a bribe. That's very interesting. It's an insurance policy. If we participate, we become criminals as well. We won't be able to turn on you without ruining our own reputations. Why should I trust you? You're you. You care about stories, not people. You published that article and sank the whole town, leaving saps like me to clean it up. If I let you go, who's to say it won't be the same thing all over again? Because if I talked, I know you'd be coming after me. I'm not suicidal. You're only saying that because I'm pointing a gun at you. But killing you's more trouble than it's worth. You're right about that. So how about you just hand over the evidence, Hannah? Nice and easy. It all comes down to this, Sam. Anna's about to jump him. Keep his attention on you. Trust me on this. I won't let you down. We'll see about that, Sam. We'll see. No, you don't! Anna! has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry. Anna, can you hear me? I need you to stay with me. I need you to...
This is one funeral I can't avoid. Sam, you got a moment? I hope you know you've got my honest sympathies. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, I wanted to tell you, we found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. Dickie's statement also corroborates your testimony. No charges are going to be filed against you. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. She's worried about her re-election chances as sheriff. She's playing cleanup for the whole police force right now. Before you answer, just remember, it's always nice to have a police chief as a friend. It wasn't your fault. No one saw it coming. I still would have trusted him with my life. He was serious, dedicated. Looking back, maybe obsessed. It's a rot that grows deep under the floorboards. I didn't see it either. What happened isn't on you. Thanks, officer. Bess, hon. I've known you too long for you to call me anything else. Anyway, I guess I've kept you long enough. I'll let you go now. Look after yourself, Sam. Just remember, this funeral isn't about you, or even Anna. It's about everyone. Us mourners sharing catharsis. I could use some of that today. Listen, empathize, express yourself. Let them see she mattered to you. Don't be afraid and you'll be fine. Hey, Ethan. Sam, I'm uh, not sure what to say. I know you and Anna were close. I I'm sorry about what happened. I appreciate that. Hey, um, I never apologized for trashing the bar that night. I'm sorry. <sighs> Forget it. It's not the first brawl I've had in my bar. It won't be the last. So, you uh, holding up all right? Not gonna lie, I've been better. But it's one day at a time, I guess. Well, sounds like you're on the right path. Listen, uh, next time you're at the Haven, let me buy you a beer, all right? I'll probably take you up on that. It's been a rough week. Yes, it has. Maybe the roughest I have ever seen. And I've lived almost twice as long as you. He's completely lost faith in himself. First Nick, now Anna. And he's convinced he could have prevented Nick's death if he had only listened. He doesn't want to retire so much as he thinks he should retire. <sighs> Walter, don't blame yourself for what happened. None of this was your fault. You can't let it get to you. And honestly, what would the Basswood Jungle be without its famous chief editor? How did you... Is it that obvious? Well, I did think about retiring, yes. But maybe the ship still needs its captain. I could go for another journey. Thank you for the kind words, Sam. It means a lot. It really does. What about you? Did you have time to consider... What comes next? I'm not planning to stay in town. Nothing for me here anymore. Hard to blame you. As for me, I may stay around a bit longer than I was expecting. I don't think you'll ever leave, Walter. Well, it's like you said. Sometimes you need to ride until you can't anymore. Basswood is my town, the jungle is my home. And you'll always be welcome at both. After all, it might be time for you to settle down. Life is short and fleeting, like the sunset. If you pay attention, it can be beautiful. If you don't, 
It's gone before you even know it happened. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Make sure to look after yourself, Samuel. Same to you. You're angry. You have every right to be. I should press charges. You could have killed people. I'm truly sorry for what happened. I was so obsessed with finding Dickie. I was out of line. You were. But your actions also stopped a truly terrible man. Sam, do not lose yourself in obsession. It is a most dangerous place to be lost. I was lost there for a time, but I think I found myself now. So, was it worth it in the end? I'm not sure. It's still something I ask myself every day. As do I. I hope you'll find your answer. <sighs> I'm sorry for your loss, Sam. Bug? None of this was your fault. I wish I hadn't given Anna such a hard time before. She didn't want to be a stepmother and well, I didn't want to be a stepdaughter. But now, I don't know. I'll never know if it could have been okay. I shouldn't have told you about my dad. You had to tell someone. I'm just glad you trusted me. I know, Muley. I always knew you'd listen, even when I was mad at you. <laughs> I told you it was a mistake to indulge her back at the pub. Well, I officially admit that I was wrong, and now I can see why. It just... If I hadn't said anything, this wouldn't have happened to Anna. But I was so mad about my dad. So mad that I couldn't even cry. Well, I couldn't until now. Until I finally knew what happened. And that makes me feel selfish. Like all of this happened because of me. Come here. So, it's not my fault? Of course not. You didn't make Declan do those bad things. But... but... Uh... But nothing. It's not your fault. Sam. Of course, she just walks off. I don't know how to reach that girl. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. She's still trying to make sense of all that's happened. She's been through a lot. Maybe Basswood just isn't the right place for her anymore. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, I'm not here to judge. I just want to help. I know, I know. Sorry. I've just been dealing with so much lately. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Now, Sam, we need to be really careful about this. Kathy's already on edge. Joan noticed her mom is overdoing the painkillers, but we can't just kick the door down and confront her directly. Kathy, Joan is distant because she feels you haven't been yourself lately. She told me at times it's like you don't see her. It's nothing against her. I've just been working myself ragged, and I hurt my back, and... She said it wasn't just that. She's noticed the pills. It's the only way I can deal with my back. And it helps with... with other things. Look, I can't imagine how hard it is to raise a child by yourself. But I don't want to see Joan grow apart from the last parent she has. Oh, God. I... I... I didn't realize it got that bad. You're right. 
I need to get help. Sam, could I... Could I count on you to help look after Joan every now and then? She needs the people she loves close to her right now. I'd love to. I get along better with her than most adults. <laughs> I just... I thought I could do this alone. I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you. And if you ever need something, know your family. I need to talk to my daughter. Hey, I'm real sorry about Anna. We are all grieving. <laughs> Time for you to step in. She needs to know that she's not alone. <laughs> Christina, I know how you feel. I'll always have that hole in my heart where she used to be. She's never coming into my shop again. No, she won't. And it hurts. But you have to remember her for all the good moments you two shared. And you can bet that wherever she is, she misses your coffee. <laughs> I'm sure she does. Thank you, Sam. There have just been too many funerals lately. Yes, there has, madam. Thank you. You have a way with words, young man. Misery loves company, Sam. You did well. Joe, I'm... I'm you sorry. You promised. You promised you'd keep her safe. He's got a lot of rage in him. It's tearing him up. Maybe just let him take it out on you. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. She's dead, and I'm still here. Old. Broken. Why didn't you kill that bastard sooner? Why'd you let him take my little girl? Should've... Have... My little girl... My little girl, I'm sorry. I just, I, I know you did all you could. I'm, I'm glad she wasn't alone. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. He needs to know the people who hurt his daughter have been punished. He needs to hear from you that all of this is over. It's over. The man who hurt your daughter and Nick is gone. No one got away with anything. That's the only thing that comforts me. You know, she never regretted having you in her life. She'd want you to know that.
Anna, Anna was, she was words. You spend your whole life devoted to them. Yet they fail you when you need them most. I miss her. I miss her. And, uh, and I don't think I have anything else. You should say something. Let people know you're grieving with them. You don't have to suffer alone. They're here for you, and you're here for them. It's a lot of weight to speak about someone who's gone. How do you start? Anna had a heart bigger than this whole town. We all managed to fit in there. It didn't matter where you came from, what you did, she still cared about you. There's going to be a lot less heart in this town without her. Anna always wanted to make sure people's voices would be heard. She used her platform to elevate those left behind, those hurting in silence. And she wouldn't stop until they got the justice and respect they deserved. She was braver than me, than anyone I ever met. She never ran from a fight. We honor Anna every time we look at someone and realize they're alive. Every time we stop to consider their feelings. Every time we open ourselves up. Every time we care about the person standing next to us. That's how we honor. Strong words. Strong words. <laughs> She'd have loved that. Well said.